technique video, we're going to look at the chambray stripe square from um, Indigo or Crimson Dreams. This one here obviously is Indigo Dreams and it's attached into the blanket. And you can see it's a fairly simple square, um, three different colours um, used uh, in a uniform way all the way through to create this really lovely stripe. Now, one of the things that was causing people a little bit of consternation was how to carry the yarn up the side so it's not so visible. Let me show you what I mean. I've got two little sample pieces here and I have put um, little uh, safety pins on this side to show that they are the right side of the work. Now, if you look at this one here, if I cover that side, you'll see that edge along here is nice and neat. On the wrong side, you can see the yarn being carried up the back and that's absolutely fine because the right side looks lovely and neat and that's great until we get to this end. Okay, so on the wrong side, when we're because we're obviously we're working backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, when we get to a wrong side row and, row and we need to carry our yarn up the side, it becomes very visible. Okay, so even though this is the right side, you know, we've still got this uh, yarn being carried up the side, which isn't the nicest, uh, it's not the nicest looking. Uh, you may lose some of that when you're sewing up, but it's a much easier way to get around it. Let us look at this other little sample piece. Again, I've marked the right side. And as you can see, the left side um, is nice and neat. You can't see yarns being carried up and you can't see yarns being carried up on the right side either. Still, it's it's neater. You will lose all of that in the, in the sewing in. Um, and if I turn over to the wrong side, you can see the yarns going up the sides each side of the work being carried up sort of neatly there. So it is an improvement. If I put the two together, one under the other, you can see yarns very clearly and yarns sort of buried and hidden in the side. And I'm gonna show you how to achieve this yarns buried and hidden. Now, immediately you will see that this is obviously not a colorway for either Indigo or Crimson Dreams. That is intentional, it's just because this is much easier to see on a video. So let's get started. I'll make a little piece and show you how to hide uh, those carried yarns. Okay, I've made just a short chain here, um, just 11 um, chain because I it will take far too long to do the full width. And I'm just showing you working back along into that chain as you will with your full size chambray square, um, just because I want you to know that this is the right side of the work. So I will pop a little stitch marker in when I get to the end and it will be the right side of the work. I'm also just gonna remind you when we get to this end, how to change color, change yarn color even. Um, so you'll be able to see that too. Okay, I'm in the last chain now and I'm just going to pull up a loop. I'm not gonna complete the double crochet stitch drop the pink yarn, bring in the cream and just pull through to complete that stitch. Leave your tails nice and long because you're able to sort of work them in after. Right, so you can see very short um, uh, little piece of double crochet. Let me, like I promised you, just put a little pin in so that we know that this is going to be the right side because it's interesting to see what happens as we work both sides. Okay, so I've marked the right side of the work now. I'm, I'm ready with the second colour. I don't need to carry anything just at the moment. Um, we'll come back and carry that when we get to the other, get back to this end. So I'm gonna make my turn, my turning chain and turn the work and I will Go all the way along into every double crochet right down to the other end. And the other end, so when we get to the end of the wrong side, that's where the little trick comes in. Okay, so here we are at the end of the cream row, which is our first wrong side row. Really tricky to get into there, so use your, your hook to have a dig about if you need to. On. There we go. Right, so again, I'm not going to finish the double crochet. I'm going to bring in my third colour, which is this little pale blue here. 
and finish the stitch just as I did on the last row and pull through in the new colour again leaving the end nice and long so still the same thing as before I'm going to make a chain and turn my work but here comes the uh, the twiddly bit that will make your edges neat I'm now looking as you can see at the right side of the work we can tell this because I've put my stitch marker and if you can see where that cream yarn is sitting it's coming out of the front of the work so if I come back down the other end and carry on you know just pick it up and use it it's going to give me that that look of being um carried up the side can you see that's what this is what it will look like if I don't do anything it will be very visible and carried up the side and that's what we're trying to avoid so to avoid that what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch it in to the first stitch at the back of the work. So I'm just take my hook out for now. I'm going to move that cream up and behind. And you can see probably what happens. It sort of continues to, it sort of looks like it's continuing the stitches. So it is fine. It's nice and neat there. It's now sat behind the work. And I'm going to do my first double crochet and catch it in. So I'm going to put my hook through the uh, first stitch and the yarn that I'm not using the cream yarn is going to go over the top sit over the top of the of the hook can you see it's just sitting there over the top I'm going to make my first double crochet and that hook that that white yarn is now trapped at the back of the work so when I go to pick it up and use it it can't travel up the front and look visible because it's trapped at the back of the work. You can always catch it in to a second stitch if you want to, same thing will happen. So I've caught it in again, sorry I've done that without showing you. So hook through the stitch, unused yarn sitting over the top of the hook and catch it in. Okay, and now all I'm gonna do is go all the way along to the end of this row. So this is a right side row, remember? when I get to the end I'm going to go back to the beginning of my colour sequence so I'm going to drop the blue and pick up the pink but if I show you when I get there so last stitch now I'll let that go I've got a couple of ends here you can ignore the cut ends a lot of ends isn't there but ignore those this is the working yarn all right and the working yarn is coming out of the back of the work so it's not going to make the front of the work look ugly in any way it's going to be nicely hidden and all I've done I've let go of my blue yarn picked up my pink and I will finish that stitch in the pink and it is as you can see behind you cannot see that yarn running up the side of the work you can see it from the back just just about but we don't worry about the back we're just concerned with the front here so I've let go of the blue I've got the pink turning chain and off we go I'm going to show you one more time at the other end of the work what I've done is I've done a few more rows so that things aren't quite as twisty I've sewn my ends in so now it's very clear uh, where the yarns are coming from I'm working as you can see a wrong side row because there's the right side row marker working a wrong side row and what you can see is the two yarns that I am not using so the blue and the pink are both coming out of this side of the work so they're both coming out of the wrong side of the work which means they're hidden so let's just go ahead and work to the end and get this little technique going so wrong side row means I'm going to carry uh, sorry I'm going to pick up the blue yarn and then I'm going to do that little um twiddly thing to hide the yarns and if you if I drop the white yarn that I'm working at the moment and just move the blue to the side you can see um the white and the pink yarn being carried because I've worked them into two stitches if you want to just work them into one stitch absolutely fine so I've picked up the blue there and that's sort of neat it's neat you can't see it it will be it will be flat and lovely from um, the front of the work 
So I have made my turning chain, front of the work nice and clear. I'm going to carry the white yarn because at the moment, if you can see, it's coming down the front of the work. I want that to go to the back. So I'll move the yarn to the back. My fingers and thumbs. Okay, so my hook's going to go under the first stitch. It's going to go under the white yarn that I'm going to drop. I'll pick up the blue again and do a double crochet. What I'll do now is a couple of rows where I'm only working it into the first stitch, just catching it in once. I'll do a couple of rows and you can see what that looks like. Um, but this, the technique is the same. I just caught it in once there rather than twice. So let me do a few rows on that and you can have a look at what it looks like and then you can decide which one you like best. Okay, there you go. You can see I've done another couple of rows. Let me take my hook out. And the last couple of changes I just caught in to the first stitch. So here you can see the, the white and the pink are being carried in exactly the same way, but they're just slightly closer to the edge. So it's entirely up to you. Um, these ones here, the white, the pink, the blue, were all caught into two stitches and the white and the pink here were caught into just one. Now, I think personally I will catch them into just one. Um, I think they're almost invisible when you do that, but it's entirely up to you. Um, it doesn't matter either way because from the front you can see absolutely nothing at all visible working up the side of your work. So that gives you that lovely neat edge. Of course, you're then going to go around the edge of your chambray squares anyway um, to sort of outline them with the darkest blue. And that just will finish them off an absolute treat. And you will never know that yarn was carried um, up the work to create the stripy pattern. Mm -hmm.